Yes. Time zones. In time zones, there's two important lines. There's the prime meridian, which is at zero degrees longitude. And then we've got the international date line, or IDT, which is at 180 degrees longitude. And the international date line is zigzag because it does not go through a country. Okay, so you can't have one country having two days at the same time. So that's why it avoids all land masses. Now, in a circle, because the globe looking down at it is a circle, has 360 degrees. Now the world's broken up into 24 different time zones. So 360 degrees divided by 24 equals 15 degrees. So each 15 degrees of longitude is a new time zone. Now, the most important one is the prime meridian, which starts at Greenwich, uh, UK, uh, goes through, comes out of Ghana, and is at zero degrees longitude. Now, from this line, if you move, if you move east of this line, so heading that direction, time goes forward. Okay. And if you move west, time goes backwards. All right. So, if I choose a place like Perth, which is there. Now that there says, on the time zone, it says plus eight. Okay, so plus eight, let's say GMT, which is Greenwich Mean Time. So whatever it is in Greenwich, you add eight hours on, okay? So if it's midnight in Greenwich, it would be 8 a.m. in Perth. But let's concentrate on Perth. So if you're in Perth and it's currently 10 a.m. Okay. Now we're going to move, we're going to fly to New Zealand. Okay. Now forget about the flight time for now. Let's pretend we just instantly teleported there. New Zealand is in this time zone. Um, the whole country is one time zone because it's pretty narrow. Uh, they are at plus 12. So the difference between 8 and 12, if you're at 8 and you need to get to 12, you're going to add on 4. Okay? So if you're in Perth, and you instantly turned up in Auckland, New Zealand, it would be 10 a.m. plus 4, so that's 11 a.m., 12, midday, 1, 2. So it would be, currently it's 2 p.m. in New Zealand. Okay, obviously if you flew there, and it takes you 6 hours, you'd have to add that on as well. What we're talking about right now. Now you can also, if we go West, for instance, we fly to New Delhi, uh, India. That's going back this way. There it is there. So you're at 8, and India is at plus 5 Greenwich Mean Time. So to go from 8 to 5, we're actually going backwards, so we're taking off 3. That's how you get from 8 to 5. So if it's 10 a.m. in Perth right now, you need to go 10 minus 3. That would be 7 a.m. in uh, India. Okay. There's also times when you need to cross the international date line. So, for example, here is Los Angeles. Now, when you fly to Los Angeles, although on the map it looks like you'd have to go this way, but when the map is a globe, it's actually shortest to go this way. So you'd fly, cross the international date line, then you turn up over this way, and you get to it from there. So how many date lines, 
Oh, sorry, how many time zones did you cross? Well, take this as zero, so you're starting at plus eight. One, two, three, four, five, on the other side of the international date line there. Six, seven, eight, nine. So, we're, even, even though we're on this side, we're on the, the west of the prime meridian, we are still heading in an east direction, okay? Because we came in from that way. So that's plus 9. So 10 a.m. plus 9 gives you... Yeah, 7. So you go 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven. So it's seven p.m. at night. Okay, so you got ten a.m. here, but it's seven p.m. there. But the thing is, what's happened here is when you cross the international date line, we if you're heading if you cross it from the west going to east, you go back a day. So this is ten a.m. Monday morning, right now in Perth, but because we crossed the international date line, it's currently 7 p.m. Sunday, Sunday night in Los Angeles. Now, if you went the other way, flying this way, you could go from Sunday into Monday, alright, so it depends on which way you're heading. So the important points are Prime Meridian is the important one, that's where you're going forward and back from, looking at the numbers here. And the international date line is just when it clocks over to the previous day or going this way to the next day. 